I'm sure you'll come up with something. You always do. Cheers, mate. That that does mean a lot. It does remind me, though. I did get you something. Do you want to see what it is? What? You got me something? Yeah, well, after the whole job thing. But you're going to need to close your eyes. What? Close my eyes? Yeah, but you're going to have to get rid of your toys first, mate. I, I, I better get rid of my toys first. Yeah. Um, Mark from Tarantula Hallow, you know what this is about. Okay, I'll get rid of my toys. That's a good lad. So you want me to close my eyes? Yes, close your eyes for right. a big surprise. Okay. Hey. What's that? It's a gift for you. You got you got me some. What? You know you wanted a dwarf tarantula. Yeah. Well, I got you one from Mark Harris. No way. Yes way. But I may have also messed up. You also messed up. Yeah, nothing new there. Well, well, we'll find out about that. Should, should we? Yeah, please. Amazing. Um, I'm very excited for this. Thanks, dude. Hey, no sweat. We good? Yeah. Should we get it rehoused? So let's get this all set up. Voice over in that. If you just explain what I'm doing, because I'm a little bit too excited to even talk. Yeah, no worries live, Nat. So, as you can see, we're once again here setting up another enclosure. Every time he's setting up a blinking enclosure. I don't really know what else to say. Live Nat is putting in some substrate, a bit of live moss, make it look all pretty and lovely. It's, it's a nice little setup. So, I think, as you've seen this before, I don't really need to explain what Live Nat is doing. But should we talk about the C elegance? The Seriocosmia elegance is from Trinidad and Tobago. They are a dwarf species of tarantula and they get around two inches in size. They are very fast growing, though these can be quite a docile species. What Nat's going to demonstrate in a minute is how skittish they are. You don't need a big enclosure. This enclosure may be a little bit too large for them, but this one has definitely settled in, as you'll see in some of the clips later on. It is always important to offer deep substrate, as this spider is also an opportunistic burrower. When you start off keeping one of these, generally you'll get them a lot smaller. This is an adult female. Thank you once again, Mark, for getting this. Come on, mate. Like, your reputation for spiders escaping is not going down very well, is it? Nat is going to try and use a tip where he puts the lid halfway over to try and stop them from escaping. Though it looks like it's decided it wants to go the other way. That's it. That's a little bit better. Put that lid on. Good lad. When feeding these, these do have a good feeding response. I'm currently using red runners, but you can use crickets, mealworms, other things. Just not too large, guys. This is a dwarf tarantula. The temperature you want to keep it in is around 78 to 82. Um, my room at the moment is sitting at 75. So it's okay. It's surviving, but maybe not thriving. I'm not overly sure why he's holding the lid down and not just getting on with it, but let's have some close-ups. Look at the copperness on that carapace. Isn't it stunning? Now, it's always important to label your containers so you don't lose track of them. Oh, he's got all right handwriting. Yeah, that's it. That's how you spell it. Good lad. I hope you enjoyed the rehousing. Live Nat did an okay job. Only escaped about three times. 
Just remember guys, this isn't a definitive care video, it's just a slight overview as LiveNat is learning. Anyway, with all of that said and done, let's go back to you LiveNat. Yeah, I've got two enclosures. I think VoiceOver and Nat might have uh, made a mistake. So, rude. This is going to be an amazing breeding project. However, these two aren't going to be the breeding project. It's just going to be this one. And then when I find a mature male, we'll progress from there. So let me tell you what happened. I went to a local reptile shop, also sells tarantulas, brilliant shop, brilliant service. I'm not going to name and shame them, but they had a C. elegance. So I was like, wow, brilliant. Pick that up straight away. Hopefully we have a breeding pair or whatever. I then posted this picture up on social media. And then we found out that it's not a C. elegant. It's actually a C. leetzi. Very similar, apart from the carapace is different. I am so grateful for the community pointing it out to me in a non-judgmental and really supportive way. Like, I don't know where we would be without a community as good as this. So now it looks like I've got two breeding projects. I'm looking out for a mature male C. elegans, and I need to find out what sex this lead C is. So then I can decide, you know, obviously what I need, male or female. You know you made the mistake too. Yeah, I know. I also... Are you going to apologise to me? I'm good. So should we get some close-ups of them now? Um, they have settled in a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, maybe give it a like, maybe even drop in a comment. So they need a name. Drop a name in the comments and let me know what you think. I'm not really one for naming my tarantulas, but I think it's part of the community. It's gonna be really nice to share it. The top voted name will go to them. But remember, we need a name for both. If you would like to support the channel, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, there's also a Patreon that gives you early access to all these videos, not that you're going to want to join that. Thank you again for watching, guys, and until next time, keep being awesome.